show in real life. So it's day five of my reboot on here and we're at almost two weeks of Fortnite of having a new baby. Um, young Auto Coyote. It's been challenging. It's, I, you know, I won't lie. It's been challenging getting organized, getting our patterns down, learning how to, how to live with this unreasonable little ball of love that we have in our house um, that's forever pooping on itself. And um, But honestly, it, it's been easier than I remember it, too. And that might be just because I'm a different man now, or it might be because it's a different baby, or it could be a combination of a thousand factors that don't have anything to do with anything. Anyway... It's great. It's great. It's exhausting. It's frustrating. And it's great. Which, that feels perfect to me. That just feels like a perfect way. See, even now, I'm kind of tired. I almost fell asleep earlier, and my brain is cloudy, and I'm confused easily. Um, it feels like we're exactly where we need to be, and doing exactly what we should be doing. Um... But fitness, right? I'm here for that. That's what this video is about. This life journal. Which is about life after all. But also working out. You know, the pivot point, right? Anyway, what I've been thinking of doing is reframing my routine. To make it about... Well, this is going to seem at first kind of arbitrary. But to make it about handstands and pistol squats. Uh, feeling a little stagnant and frustrated with the work. Um, but also, that, uh, looking for something to breathe a new enthusiasm and invigoration into the process. And those are two things that I have worked on in the past, have gotten reasonably good at, and then abandoned, thereby resetting myself. Um, also, apropos... There are rehab considerations, both in the hips and in the shoulders, that I would like to work on with those movements. So, not only is it somewhat novel and fun, and something I know how to do, but it's practical, right? Especially with my right leg, which is kind of a disaster right now. Um... I reserve the right to change my mind, as I'm fond of saying. But, I am leaning more and more that way. And I think I'll get through this weekend, make up my mind, and then launch a plan. Now, I'll still do the primary lifts, right? But it will, it will become more of a focus in my assistance work, you know? And fingers crossed, knock on wood, lucky rabbit's foot rubbing and all of that. I do think it will help keep it interesting and engaging for both myself and at least potentially for a viewing audience. Although I guess that remains to be seen, right? Anyway, I'm rambling. This is where we are. New daddy, new family. New bouncing baby boy. And ideas. Ideas about new ways of training. New ways of, of both having a nourishing distraction and alone time. But also of building a better, more resilient me for the challenges that come with age. Um, I think that makes sense. So, yeah, I guess I'm kind of talking myself into it right now, but that's the way I'm feeling. Anyway, today's overhead press day, so let's get into that. All right, see you soon. So my little opening rant out of the way, basic stuff today. Just uh, overhead presses and flank pullovers, which you'll see shortly. Uh, the flank pullovers in particular are a really cool move that I stole off of James. Um, strongman Archaeology on Instagram. All these old-timey 
strongman movements, circus lifts and whatnot. He has them all cataloged on his Instagram. I highly recommend you check it out. I wish I had thought to get the link in advance because it would take me a while to dig it out. And there I am looking pudgy. Yep. But this is the movement basically. I'm using a 30 here. Way too heavy. Just way too heavy for me to be doing this with. Um, it's a great movement though. <laughs> Man, I look pathetic. <laughs> I look so pathetic doing this. So, <clears throat> you kind of have to do it with a dumbbell. You can do it with plates. I find kettlebells very unwieldy for this. And unfortunately, I have 30s and I have 20s for dumbbells. And the 20s are too light, the 30s are too heavy. So, this is what I'm stuck with. Um, you know, get stronger, right? I mean, what, what else is there? Um, a great movement though. And I, um, you can see here, my camera angle is betraying my positioning a little bit. Basically, you wanna lower the weight over your head and just like a pullover, but on one side, and you kinda of track that elbow to the side of your body. Anyway, that's all I got today. That's it, guys. Um, you know, I did some other stuff, but it didn't feel worth filming. And yeah, I'm out of time. This is Joe in real life. I love you. Be good to each other. I'll talk to you tomorrow.